talk to me a little bit about um, what it was like working with this like a really amazing cast. The cast was honestly one of the best parts of working on this project. I think from the start I was definitely nervous coming into such a big project and, and meeting people like Michelle and Key, it, it was very, very nerve-wracking, but they are genuinely like the sweetest people. Like Michelle's in like her Guan Yin dress and super decked out, and then she has like her sneakers on and she's like holding her dress up. So they, seeing things like that made me feel a lot better and that she was like a normal person because it really doesn't feel like that. And then as for the rest of the cast, we all got along like amazingly well. Like I probably hung out with Ben and Jimmy like every single day. Like I would just show up on set randomly and you know, Kelvin would be like you're here again and I was always there but we got along phenomenally well and I think that that really transfers um, on the screen we would go over to Yen Yen's house who plays Ben's mother in the show we would cook and hang out and chat it was like a very like warm warm environment to be in yeah so um, you know for people who aren't a fan of the work um, talk to me about your character and, you know you're one of the few like non-asian faces right, I feel right. like in the series yeah so Amelia Taylor she is Jin's crush at school and from their first experience um, together it's it's very fun to watch because it's like horrifically awkward but in like the best way possible it's very cute and it it, it really feels to me like a 50 15 year old two 15 year olds trying to sort out how they feel about each other and I think it, it's just one of those really beautiful things to watch she in the story is sort of first seen as like this all-american uh, kind of perfect girl at school she's popular she has a lot of friends she's very nice um, but as the story sort of progresses we see that like everyone else she uh, doesn't feel awesome all the time and she struggles with things at home and things with her parents and we sort of see that parallel with Jin of like how he feels a little bit disconnected when he's at home and I think it gives them a nice thing to relate to each other about uh, especially there's an episode where we follow Amelia home um, with Jin and they go, they sort of get to see how they relate to each other in that way and they, they didn't know that they did. And so, you know, what are you hoping that people kind of get out of the series? You know, like you're just talking about, there's a lot of like, issue, you know, issues with like identity yeah. and like, you know, finding yourself and those kind of things. I really hope that when people watch the series that they, um, they feel what we all felt making it, it, making it and that it's very full of love and full of all of these warm things and it, it talks about identity and I hope people take away that uh, regardless of how you feel you look on the outside, how you feel you're being presented, everybody feels the same way and that they're struggling on the inside with something and regardless of how they present that, whether they put on a front like Amelia does or they, you know, kind of cower away or act out that, that everybody is going through something and, and maybe take some some passion in that. For sure, yeah, I think everybody always needs to I think, think so. about that. Um, well, congratulations. Thank um, you. Have you enjoyed South by so far? Or So far, a yeah. lot of it's been in a hotel, but I was saying earlier. <laughs> it's, it's been great so far. I haven't had any negative experiences, so I'm going kind of to count on it staying that way. <laughs> well, congrats on the series. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Nice to meet you.